Hey guys, this is Gaming Cow. Welcome back to Toho, the Genius of Sapphiros. Yes, the Genius of Sapphiros is indeed what we're playing. So, last time we got a little bit annoyed at the narrow passageways of the uh, Yokai Mountains uh, lakeside part. Because I guess we've gone through a river into the sort of lake area and now we're finally getting to the heights of the mountain. And yeah, this is where the last sort of quarter slash, if you really want to make a thing of it, technically fifth of the stage, because I think there's another new set of enemies coming up, or at least certain uh, enemies are different. So yeah, we'll have that for a couple of maps as well. But yeah, the the enemies are kind of hard to avoid in certain places here, and it got to have annoying. If you're wondering why we're starting here, it's because I'm, I've am i actually outgrowed a lot of enemies around here, so we're going to need to run pretty soon, and uh, that's going to be entertaining. But yeah, nothing's changed in terms of party stuff. I, yeah, we'll just keep going, and we run past all the dudes, and we're into an area that we have not yet seen. So yeah. I still house the same general enemies at the moment, and since I don't have stab attacks, the long leg, the long arm long legs is kind of annoying to take out. Uh, I might actually just go ahead and uh, try and bust it open with the strongest sort of attacks I have here. Uh, Form of Avenge is good too, we'll give an attack buff because why not, uh, if I rate because I do get Slayer against it, and uh, actually what we could do is we could duplex Barrier Physical against Marissa, because Breath of Strikes will definitely be going to her because she has the lowest HP, and since she would die in one hit from it, well, let's make her not die in one hit from it. Well, that's why rate is pretty fast. Also, they quite a bit of damage there, but yeah, we need to we need to barrier up against the physicals here. Although that that crit, though, maybe we'll yeah we'll just take it out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess if you focus it down enough, then you'll get to kill it before it does anything. Heck yeah. Uh, let's just attack with that for magic buff. Uh, oh, do I want to just which one do I want to hit? I guess I want to hit you, and then uh, I'm going. So yeah, probably. <laughs> That's quite a crit though for three thousand damage. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't even need to do this fight really, but I guess I just. It's the, it's the first new screen of the place, right? And we have, we have some enemies to get through. We still get bonus experience on Biarka, and so there is that. There is a box down here with the Acne Ring. Uh, as you would probably guess from a certain other character with Acne stuff, that is actually a fire resistant ring. But we'll show that off in a brief moment or two when we get through this place. Another Yorkai Mountain Rock there. There actually is something else I want there, though. And you know, there's something I actually do want from this fight as well, so we're only about three or four screens, probably not even now, away from the end of this, so let's uh, go ahead and do the fights, why not? Uh, that's rough because stuff is annoying, and uh, yeah, we'll go with that. So this might end up being a short part, but honestly, this place is kind of hard to like, probably time out. And I think it's okay the way it is. It's gone in the end. Ah, no, so it's lucky to get stuff there. That's fine. That did a lot of damage, wow. Good going. Yeah, one ten. Cool. Nice. So I guess I didn't need the buff to uh, resistance there after all, but that's fine. Yeah, there is actually a box here with the adamantite shard. So yeah, I kind of looked it up briefly just so I could have a rough idea of where it was and I recognized the scenery, so yeah. Alright, let's progress into another screen with... Uh, more enemies I do want to kill because your kind of thing. So heck yeah, let's go meet some birds and stuff I guess. Uh, I think I want to raise magic here, because then I can hit everyone with napalm and it hits the middle. Slayer effect on magicians, it's a good time. So we'll do that. Yeah, 700 damage there, quite impressive. And the Slayer on the front character, which is good. Not plus flying, Phoenix does get to hit a couple of enemies, which is nice. And take them out, good. So that's nice, and we unfortunately didn't get any uh, any items from that, but whatever. If you want to open up a shortcut to the path down and get yourself a box with some Yorkai mail, actually a nice item to get, it is a resistance one, so not a dual defending one. But yes, if you want to open up the way back down uh, with a sewing needle for Alice, you can go here. And this is the full-on shortcut back to the base of the mountain. You can also heal at the circle here. So yeah, we now have a way of going from the bottom of the mountain all the way up to the top sort of layers here. So that is good. And yeah, we're nearly done with the movement here. There's also another item to get, which is a man-eater. That's going to be a new thing for... Uh, Sunai over here, 
very slightly less accurate, but it slays warriors and magicians, so just in case we haven't had enough of that yet, and it causes great confusion, which means that the enemies can't do their skills, which is pretty nice. Obviously the plant slayer is still quite, yeah, the plant and beast sort of slayers are quite good here, so you might not want to change to it instantly, but it's still a pretty good item, so yeah, I'm not against using it here, and I'm still going to super duplex my service, I'm not even super duplex, super duplex is much, much better, but yeah, I'm still going to duplex barrier here, just in case this doesn't end up getting the kill. We did get an item from that too, some more iron, which is very, very nice. So that is always a positive thing to see. You can see there are still just as many enemies around here as there were before, so don't let that fool you. But now we are finally into stage 12 proper. So again, yes, with this uh, this devastation, the... Uh, <laughs> the only pounding stuff, I guess, for what we've seen. It is indeed. Now, how did you spot that from there? And why doesn't anybody else see it if it's that obvious? <sighs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we are finally into stage 12 and there's basically only two screens in stage 12. So this is the fifth sort of section. But technically stage 11 has like 4 and then there's this. But yeah, Yukari's Ghost Cat. I don't really know how Ghost Cat <laughs> works, just out of interest. But uh, yeah, she she's kind of in a lot of pain it seems. Oh dear, yeah. Uh, who knows why they would do such awful things to Chen. Yeah, maybe. That's That's very possible. Uh huh. So yeah, the culprit behind the destruction could yeah most likely is behind the mist as well. That that I would say is fairly obvious. So who on earth could cause this though? Eh, uh, well, Suika maybe, but why would Suika beat up Chen? And Chen outright says no, it's not Suika. Person who did oh man, she does it's like gah Yep. Sorry, but we can't spoil it that easy. Don't collapse before you spill it. <laughs> yep, she's she's kind of out gold. And Satori can't read her mind because she's uh <laughs> Oh shut up, baby. <laughs> oh god. Nope. You can't apparently read the hearts of people who are not conscious. Yeah, okay. That's... I guess that sort of makes sense. But yeah, she did say that it was not Suika. So who on earth could it still be? Like, well, Yugi can't really control Mist. Besides, uh... Yeah, she kind of went on a rampage and uh, nuked the underground, as we saw in stage, what is it, four? Uh, going into the blazing hell and whatnot. Uh-huh. Yeah, we just have no idea who it could be. And yeah, we've gone through pretty much all the characters from uh, Toho 6 till 12 at this point, right? Or the the sets of characters at least, so... <laughs> what should we do with this ghost cat? I have no idea. Fair enough. Yeah, I would say that's pretty, pretty pitiful, but... Oh well. However... There is one thing we can quickly get from Chen, so you do have to go through this uh, this map every time and there are never any enemies or any items in here, but Chen is still here, and if you speak to Chen, yeah, she really does look kind of exhausted. So we try and speak to her, no response, no response, but she has a book. And so we're going to steal the book because that's what Reimu does. And we actually get a four person formation from her. So let's have a look at that real quick. The Shikigami Assault. I actually kind of like this formation. So, uh, 
yeah, it's it's not a terrible one. I think the trickster formation is still kind of better, but if you're using a lot of physical attackers, this is probably the formation you would want to use. It isn't the greatest for magic or support, as it says there, but Sanai in particular is still perfectly fine using her support skills even with the lowered speed, because her casting speed is really high with her support tree. So yeah, a very heavily physical formation, you probably won't be doing magic attacking in this, but it it works, and the rear character doesn't have a high chance of getting targeted, so, and even if they do, defense is higher. So yeah, it's, it's a good physical formation, but I prefer to have both physical and magic attacks when I play. So yeah, that's why I am not a humongous fan of it. Also do not forget this box here because this is a very important item to pick up. So I guess I can just show the, the Agni Ring monster here as well, fire, blah, I already said what that does. The atmospheric shield is the electric equivalent of the continental shield and it is very very important that you pick this up. Why? We'll see later, but... We're getting a lot of power still, so 15 power is actually quite nice for that fight. So I'm happy enough with that. Uh, up there is a box, and we'll need to like aggro all the enemies over in order to get to that. These enemies don't move nearly as fast as those uh, weird bunny things from before, so... Then we get the Undyne Ring, which is the water equivalent. I don't really want anything from this fight. The, the Crow does drop your okay, amount to drop, but it's not at a very high rate, so... I don't really care for that. But yeah, the Undyne Ring water damage reduction, pretty nice. 25%, you know, taken from water damage is strong, don't get me wrong. Uh, there are plenty of circumstances you will want to use that. And the, these enemies might not be the uh, might not be the fastest, but they're still annoying to work around. So many of them. Uh, there's one enemy in this stage in particular which is unique to the top of the mountain, though, and we do need to try and fight it at some point. I'm gonna resbuff here just in case double tornado gets cast, because that is a possibility, and it would suck to get double you know, days and then slow damage. Here. So we'll have that not happen. It nearly happened. Oh, that's gonna sting. Wow. Yeah, you can see sometimes just how much damage these enemies are capable of. Use all of their AOE stuff, they hurt. And we actually got an item from that as well. Nice, I forgot that we still need one. As Saku gets a level, we have the Wisdom Ring too. Perfect. Okay, so that's uh, Intelligence plus 7. So we'll, we'll see that in a sec. This is actually the last screen of this area, so I'm just kind of using all my high power stuff because it is the last, uh, the last screen, there's no reason not to. And uh, you know what, we'll Fantasy Seal as well. It's a large spread move, so I should really use it in the middle here. So that it can hit everything decently. I can still hit everything if I hit the Tanuki. Maybe I should have hit the... Oh wow, nice, nice, nice. Maybe I should have gone ahead and aimed it at the... Uh, and an item there too, beautiful. Should have aimed it at the other thing, but a crit on Ultimate Division kind of mitigates that. As we get another level for Byakuren, as well as the Endurance Ring too. So that is Vitality plus 7. Again, I'll show these off in a sec, because we are done with the stage. This is the very last screen. And so, uh, if we use this, this is actually our warp all the way down to the base of the mountain. Right into stage 11. We can actually leave from here. And that is, uh, that is the stage in a nutshell. So, yeah, probably gonna be a pretty short part looking at the actual uh, video size and whatnot, but that is just how it goes sometimes. So, with these two items in tow as well, uh, Vitality Intelligence, pretty good. This has been Gamer Cow playing Toho, the genius of Savros, and next time we knock out the enemies in the Yokai Mountain second half. There's that one enemy which actually has an item I want that we have yet to see in the final two screens here, uh, because we kind of just blazed through them. But beyond that, uh, I forget if you... You have Dexterity, which is Induction and Accuracy, so that's not terrible. We might try and get that. And I still would like the Devil Shield and the Mana Shield if I could. 
Uh, Nimble Ring 2 might also be useful, but I don't think it's as good as the Untouchable Goggles. At least it increases speed as well, though, so there's that. We haven't gotten the this, I don't think. Uh, Demon Crest Armor, that'd be nice to get just to show it off. Because I forget what it does, actually. So it'd be good to show that off. Um, Mana Shield, I would still like to get at some point, but it's not super essential. And so uh, the Angel Shield is okay as well. That would probably be decent enough to get. But yeah, other than that, pretty much got everything. So it's going to be a case of just getting stuff uh, from the few enemies that I need to get things from and we shall upgrade our equipment a little bit too because of uh, your kind of rocks I have three now and uh, so I can make some tier 4 stuff so we'll do that so that'll be all next time so until then take care